function. And every 2.2 2 seconds, I don't know if this slide's really good. It's not your fault, it's this thing. Okay. We'll, we'll work through it. Okay. So every 2.2 2 seconds, a child becomes an orphan. And over 143 million children are orphans right now. And studies have shown that 38,000 orphans age out of the system, whether it be foster care or just any adoption um, home. And out of those children who age out of the system, 10 to 15% of them become commit suicide before the age of 18. 60% of the girls become prostitutes, and 70% of the boys become hardened to criminals. And this is a huge problem that we need to pay attention to and create awareness about and help to uh, make a difference with. And one of the primary ways to do this is through adoption. And although it may not cure adoption, um, it will definitely have a huge impact. Jeannie L. Robin and Stacey A. Shaw in their article, The African Orphan Crisis and International Adoption, say that international adoption, although a small and temporary solution, may fit in the framework of being used as a global model. Uh, this is really personal to me because my youth pastor um, moved to Swaziland to start an adoption home. And this is him and his wife right here. And in Swaziland, like many other countries, there um, are babies that are abandoned every single day. Mothers will, if they can't afford to provide for their babies or if they just don't want them, if they have any sort of defect, they'll just cast them aside. Police officers find them like behind bushes and porter potties even, they have told telling me about, and anywhere that you could think of just are abandoned. And so they created a home where the children will be raised and educated and they are there to be their parents. There's about 40 kids in there, it's growing, they're hoping to have about 80 and it's definitely been filling up really, really fast. And they're hoping to even teach them about God and um, definitely make an impact in these child's lives. A lot of people when they think about adoption immediately think about the obstacles to it. And especially when it comes to costs. It's um, 15000 just for one child. It's a little less to add one or, I mean, two or three. But um, there's also some psychological effects on the children if they come from a past where they had um, been abused or just traumatic experiences that the parents will then have to definitely deal with and help them through. So that creates greater challenges. And then cultural differences if they're coming from a different culture. So a lot of times parents don't know how to deal with that and those, all those things that are obstacles when they think about adoption. However, there are so many ways to overcome these obstacles. There are numerous um, ways to help afford. There's grants from the government. Um, there's even some jobs will help you pay for um, a, to adopt. And if, if none of that even works, foster care doesn't cost anything. So that's always a way to just provide for them and without having to pay anything. Also, to deal with all the challenges that come along with it, there's organizations such as 127 Ministry and the Tapestry Ministry, which give you support and are there to help you and give you advice throughout the entire process. Um, involving cultures, it's all how you take it. One of them, um, Scott Simon in Place for Adoption said that I find one of the things I treasure in the mixture of heritage is, is my own identity. Is like he's saying that all of the different heritages come and make you who you are. And if you just see it as that, it's definitely helpful. And adoption is just so many blessings. 98% of people who adopted internationally recommended it. And it's constantly described as just a divine work of agency because the bonds that you're made, making a family, it impacts the entire family and is incredible. So when considering adoption, there's several qualifications age-wise and you need to be married or a single woman, clean record. This is just to make sure that the children are um, put in safe and secure family lives. Um, there's several forms and it takes about one year. 
And if adoption not, is not for everybody, so there's always ways to just help support it. There's thousands of organizations across the United States and across the world that are providing adoption homes like the one in Swaziland. And there's t-shirts you can buy, bracelets, all things that will help to support adoption and make a difference in the lives of so many orphans. So I encourage you all to do that. Yeah.